Hey everyone, I am honored to introduce to you our next wonderful guest on the podcast, Katie Boyle. She is a mom of two and an entrepreneur, and I'm really excited because I think our listeners will appreciate Katie's honest and genuine approach to parenting, and I just loved her health tips that we hadn't heard before on the show. I'm looking forward to folks hearing about how Katie balances her family's healthy eating aspirations with the reality of their lives, as well as other ways Katie focuses on encouraging healthy living for her family and others. Absolutely. All right, let's jump in. Welcome, Katie. So Katie, thanks so much for joining us. Could you tell us a little bit about your family and your daily life and your lifestyle? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting. My family's from Simsbury, Connecticut. We live in the Northeast. Um, Love it here. I have two daughters, uh, five and three, and my husband has, uh, it works and travels and I would say hectic is a good word to describe our household and family. Um, That's awesome. What does he do? He works uh, in TV production and he'll be getting on a plane here and there, you know, uh, all the time. So we're always juggling his schedule and my schedule and um, our our Google calendar is like our Bible. (laughs) We have to make sure we're scheduled and everybody can see everyone else's schedule for for any sense of um, normalcy flow, you know, for... Sanity. <laughs> Absolutely. I understand where you're coming from. We live by Google Calendar. If Google goes down, my life yeah. is no, done. Yeah. It's horrendous. <laughs> That's great. Um, so do you want to talk to us a little bit about um, maybe your family's eating style when it comes to this chaotic schedule and what you guys focus on? Sure. Well, I have an interest in organic and natural foods and products in general, but I, I just, I don't know how long ago, but learning about toxins in our food supply and the way food is grown, the way food food is made in this country, it just seemed like a really natural choice to start buying organic food. And it, it, it was not um, really a difficult choice. I just kind of started with milk, I think, you know, and started there. And then as I could switch over to a more natural version of whatever it, it was that I was looking for. But I am also because of because of our schedule and having young kids and having a business. I use a food delivery service, Stop and Shop's Peapod, which is I know in some people's eyes is uh, crazy that you don't have time to go find the food that your family is going to live on. You don't have enough time to go shopping for it. I have had conversations with people, and you know it's like it's a convenience thing. And I, I soak that up, you know, I just need it. And, um, we I love a, that. A weekly delivery of the basics. And then I shop, I go physically in person to the store, which is like very rare nowadays, I think to get meats and produce. Um, but everything else, uh, delivered to my countertop and I really can't say enough about it, how, how amazing it is. And the kids think that, Peapod is a person and like Peapod, Peapod's coming. <laughs> Mr. Peapod's here. <laughs> He's like the milkman, but it's yeah, not. exactly. Yeah. You I know, know what? I actually think that's brilliant because you've hit the nail on the head that, okay, yes, maybe you could make time, but is that time that you're giving up doing something more important to you yeah, worth yeah. it? No, like yeah. I need to be with my kids or I need to do something for work or whatever it is. It sounds like with your husband traveling, it just sounds like it'd be a nightmare. So I completely understand. And I'm excited to hear you say that because you're my first interview who has told me they do that. Yeah. And I love that that's a new experience we can talk about because I haven't taken that leap, but there may be a day in my life where I do. Yeah. And I think, I mean, we're going that way. And now with Amazon delivering Whole Foods, they're right. rolling that out nationally. I I don't actually know. It would be a dangerous thing if they, if they do it near me. <laughs> we already have like a huge line item for groceries in our budget. Sure. Um, it's only going to grow if Whole Foods <laughs> can, can I, be delivered. Oh. Absolutely. I totally understand that. I do have one question, which might backtrack your thought process a little bit, but mm-hmm. I know you said you're not really sure where your journey started, but I did wonder if you can remember or reckon any event in your life or anything that sort of inspired you to be like, I need to make this change. It sounds like it was gradual, which I, I can speak to because it took me about five years to get to where we are. Mm-hmm. It started with like meats, you know, and, and keep keeping dairy out because one of my kids couldn't handle it. So mm-hmm. I just wondered if anything triggered it. And if it didn't, no problem. But I was just curious. 
Um, definitely. It, it, my education around um, environmental health and like how, the, how our environment and the things in it can affect human health. So it's, it's everything. It's food, it's lotions, it's shampoo, it's your air quality, it's, you know, like car exhaust, you know, everything you can think of um, influencing your health. And food obviously is a, a huge piece of that puzzle. So um, yeah, just taking a, taking a class about, or, you know, reading a book, you know, about how our environment. Um, sure. Our health. Yeah, like so how it's fully limited. integrated. That makes a lot of sense to me. So I was just curious what triggered that. And clearly, the more you educate yourself, the more you feel compelled. And it's, I always say you can't unknow what you know. Yeah, yeah. So I understand that um, perspective. Yeah, and it says, I, I talk a lot about um, when I do workshops, like about how you you make one step and then then incorporate that and it's not difficult anymore. And then that's your new normal. So like you're you're using whatever brand of shampoo and conditioner and it's like that I don't have to think about it anymore I just know that that's the one I'm going to get and it's not hard so from someone looking from the outside looking at a family like yours or in my case uh more with products uh than food <laughs> although whole foods is, is our big we love you know trying to eat whole foods um but yeah I, it looks it looks like it takes a lot of thought but it really doesn't because if you're doing it over time you just right. incorporate the changes and they become your normal. That totally resonates with me because even when with professional organizing, I teach people small changes can make mm -hmm. a huge impact and don't feel like you need to do it all at once or just, you know, try one week of eating this way. And if you yeah. feel like better, you're going to be compelled to continue. It doesn't need to be so daunting. Um, and so I, that resonates well with me. And so when you say whole foods, you mean physically. Yeah. 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 Foods, not the the, the company the store. Yeah. Foods. Okay. Yeah. That seems to be a theme I'm hearing a lot with many moms who are, you know, hypersensitive or hypervigilant about their food is like, it's just whole foods, like foods mm -hmm. that humans should be consuming. Right. right. <laughs> and, and there's, there's level, there's varying levels of that. And there's, there's a lot going on there. But um, when we talked a little bit about you using Peapod and you're talking about how much you guys allocate, um, are you comfortable sharing maybe a general budget you spend on your food? Because that's one of our questions. And since you hit, you mentioned, it seems like a lot, I would love mm -hmm. to hear. It would make me feel better, I think. <laughs> I have a, I have a number. Yeah. yeah. Per year. Yeah. Oh God. Um, or per month or whatever you think. Yeah. Well, per week, it's usually like, um, probably about 200 a week. And then okay. that includes one takeout, you know, one night of, of takeout from somewhere. That's pretty good. I got to tell you. I mean, I know it fe probably feels like a lot, but yeah, I think that's a pretty impressive considering you're working on Whole Foods and you're using, you know, a delivery service and everything. Yeah. I mean, I, I say that, but then I have like goldfish in the, yeah. you know, <laughs> like, you how know can you not? but I mean, it's like, they're not, the, I'm just constantly trying to convince my kids to, um, the, the meaning behind the food that you're eating, like, you, you know, meaning uh, eating, eating a carrot versus eating goldfish, you know, and how, you know, the, the nutrition behind it and how it helps you be healthy and smart and ready to learn. And, um, one thing that I have incorporated for the kids is a, um, a, a green powder, like a uh, vitamin powder. Yeah. And I just mix it with water and a little bit of juice, OJ, which is like added sugar, but, and right. it has, I, I brought it over. It has just incredible things in it like everything it has everything yeah. in it. so if they they have it's almost like a shot they have in the morning a quick you know yeah. and it yeah has iron even which is hard to find in a vitamin um for kids with you know with other good things but yeah so that is one trick that i recommend because i know that they've had greens if they've had this this little drink in the morning you know what i mean yeah. Yeah. And, and you have, know what? I would love for you to afterwards send me a link to that because I'm curious sure. about it. Yeah. And I am all about like whatever you're getting, you're getting the minimum at least for today, no matter what the day ends right. up looking exactly. like. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm with you on that. I mean, my kids have this little cocktail in the morning where it's like vitamin D and fish oil and juice and whatever probiotics all go in and then it's like their coffee, you know, yeah. okay, everyone yeah. have their juice. And, um, and I have to laugh because the goldfish keep coming up as like everyone's culprit. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which, which makes me laugh because at least we're all in that same boat. We're fighting the goldfish battle. Um, yes, we are. <laughs> and 
And I have to also laugh because this guy that I work with for one of my kids, he said to me once, can I make a brain cell out of a Cheez-It? Yes. And he's like, but it's a hell of a lot easier to make it out of a carrot. Oh, nice. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. what a great, it, yes, yeah. of course you can grow and, and become a human being and live off of these things, but life can be actually easier when you're nourished. So right. it's, that's how I, like, that's what I say to myself sometimes. I'm like, oh, it's so much better, but it is a battle. It can be a battle with kids. And I would love to hear, and maybe what you just talked about is your answer here, but do you have like a superpower that you feel helps you guys be one step closer to healthy? Like something about you or the way that you are raising the kids or, you know, what comes to mind when I ask that question? Uh, I don't, I can't, no, I can't think of anything. It sounds like you focus on, you know, the education piece with them. Like this is- this is yeah. cool, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think for me there, no, there are other things take precedent, like, t- like maintaining sanity at that hour uh, at dinner time, like is more important sometimes than, you know, and then the whole clean plate thing. And like, I'm not, so I, there's a, there's a methodology and you can find the author. I don't remember. Um, but, uh, about, um, the kids choosing, the mom, the parents choosing what they eat and um, where you eat, I think, and the child chooses how much. Like that, hmm. there's a, it's some a control factor, basically. Yeah. So they, yeah. So the kids, I mean, I, I, I will give them like a glass of milk if they don't want to eat their dinner, a glass of milk or an apple, you know, but I'm, I'm, I don't make a second meal. A lot of things uh, are more important at dinner time than thinking about what they're eating or, or whether they've eaten enough. Cause my daughter, Samantha is, we're in the stage, she's three. She's in, we're in the stage where she's getting out of napping and she's just a, a terror at that hour. And like to get her to eat a few bites is, I mean, it like two or three bites I get, you know, from them of what I made, you know, and um, it's just, super difficult. <laughs> I know. It, it, I agree. And I always make myself feel better to think like, well, dinner isn't actually the most important meal anyway, because they're going to sleep. They don't really need this energy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the other day, one of my, my sister-in-law shared this with me and it was just, this is why my kids eat at 4 PM because they're mm-hmm. losing it by five or six. So okay, we eat yeah. dinner at four. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what? I'm going to start doing that. Just feed I know, them. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. um, but yeah, I understand the battle of like just keeping the sanity at at the witching hour, which for some reason is five hours long. It's like yeah. from three yeah. to eight p.m. <laughs> okay, so along the same lines, what do you think is your kryptonite? Like, what do you think is your sort of weakness, or you know, what something you might be trying to work on? Oh God, yeah, bribing them with a treat of some kind, you know? To yeah, like a food. dessert. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I I'm embarrassed, but like I get coffee at McDonald's and they get munchkins sometimes and like it's they they know a mcdonald uh, not mcdonald's sorry dunkin donuts <laughs> all right i gotta, I gotta right. take that out i don't go to mcdonald's <laughs> no can we Your actually face was like oh, what? no 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 i will i first i thought they have donuts at mcdonald's now <laughs> no we're keeping that in because it's funnier if you don't mind <laughs> i try not to, i have to have the real stuff out there it's awesome i know but the, i have mom friends oh god this is terrible you're, you're getting a really candid me that's right? okay this who, is what i want to hear <laughs> who get like my kids have had one happy meal in their entire life <laughs> that was like purchased by someone else and i'm like the thing is i'm totally okay with it in moderation because it's life and it's right. fun and it's cute and there's a toy and you know um but yeah, my kryptonite is is treats like bribing them with munchkins from Dunkin' Donuts or, you know, yep. like because Sammy is flipping out, you know? Yep. It's like, again, just keeping sanity. Um, but I am aware of that. And Brian and I both, like, we've, we were literally, to get them to go to sleep, we were, we were paying them qu- quarters, you know? Like, <laughs> I remember I you told me food. <laughs> is that any better? Um, and then trying to get them like to to actually stay in bed when you know just giving them a quarter or saying like you get a token and then at the end of on the weekend we can go buy a small toy you know that's better than than food you know yeah yeah but they have to wait for that and the instant gratification is so much more 
Yeah. Like dangle the carrot, literally. <laughs> um, I understand where you're coming from. I mean, I talk a lot about how my oldest is totally motivated by dessert. You know, uh. he'll just like shovel it down and be like, okay, how many more bites? Uh, <laughs> so whatever gets the healthy stuff in them, right? And then right. I, I totally get that. Um, <laughs> so I'm curious, is there anything about the way that you were brought up that affects the way you feed your family now? Oh, that's a great question. I think I, well, I have a vision of what I want to be and I am that sometimes. Uh, and I remember being like, you know, and that is being domestic and using a cookbook and planning meals and like having every ingredient that I need ready to go. <laughs> like that is not real life. That was real life for like a week after I got married when I was like, I'm going to read <laughs> the joy of cooking and you know, and that book has not been opened in, <laughs> opened in like, how long have we been married? Six years. <laughs> We've been married almost eight. If I haven't cracked that book open, probably in six. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So my mom had similar stressors and it was, you know, we, it was a lot of like hamburger helper and, you know, those convenience things, but that right now in this world, we're fighting against all those convenience, those things that everyone wanted you know, now we're trying to unravel that without it being insanely difficult. <laughs> so it's not, uh, it is, it's, it's hard to, because we've, we, I grew up with the convenient, you know, you just throw, throw the pieces together and, and it's made, you know, or you put the sauce on the chicken that you comes in a jar that was made in a jar. Um, you know, so now I might, might, um, buy those things, but I'm looking at the ingredients at least, you know, like I'm, the ones that I buy are not going to have like high fructose corn syrup in them if possible, you know? Absolutely. I'm the same way. I'm like, what's the healthiest, most convenient thing? Like, oh, I'll yeah. get Newman's own tomato sauce because I'm yeah. not, I'm not making tomato sauce, you know? Right. You're not going to jar your own tomatoes. <laughs> Although I would love to do that someday, you know? <laughs> yeah. I have done that back when I didn't have children. Like, right. I yeah. like, oh, I'm going to make homemade tomato sauce. And uh, whatever, and I'm the same way too. It's like the, the the meal prepping, it happens probably once a week out of the month. So my baby came over and decided she wants to nurse. Okay. So this is the way I'm gonna get through the rest of this interview. Um, <laughs> Good. And that's mom life, right? Yep, definitely. Um, so I would be curious, now that we just talked a little bit, it just totally organically came up, but what are your maybe like favorite packaged foods that you feel like are good enough. They, they do in a pinch and you're like, I, it doesn't bother you at all that you had to use them. Oh, um, I buy those, those green raviolis that have asparagus in them. They're, oh. they're like not cheap, but it's like a quick, it fills them up and they got sick of them. I was making them so much. <laughs> Allie was like, I don't want the green ones anymore. <laughs> um, and then we do, we do cereal in the morning. I mean, that, that's like another American invention, I think. A box of yeah. um, like grains and small bites. And, yeah, it's like, like well, actually, yeah, that, that is, it isn't, a, that's not a whole food, but you know, but it's things like, what else? Um, pack, like yogurts and, you know, all those things. It, I, I would prefer to be buying a big container and then partition, like a plain Mm. and then put food in it but i can't it's like it's life i i do i buy the four pack and you know they get one um at school and then <clears throat> juice boxes <laughs> i mean terrible amount of waste is produced you know but there's one that stop and shop makes that has vegetables in it it's like a, it's a oh yeah 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 drink so that and there they cost more but it's like that one is worth it to me right you know? absolutely we all have those sort of well this also has this in it so yeah um, so do you have any, like, cause clearly you're an entrepreneur and you're a busy mom and, and maybe that sort of, maybe like of your favorite tips that you've learned or heard that you use on a regular basis for getting something a little bit healthier on the table as far as, you know, I've already heard you talk about like the Peapod services, probably one, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. like, can you think of anything else that you, um, that you've heard or that you've learned over the years that might be a fun tidbit. Yeah. I think roast, like roasting vegetables with cinnamon, like cinnamon, adding cinnamon to a vegetable makes it to them seem sweet. So I ha I've never, 
heard that. I mean, uh, I've yeah. had cinnamon and sweet potatoes, but I never thought about the flavors go well together. Um, what was the other thing on, oh, broccoli, like adding cheese, like I honestly, or a little soy sauce to broccoli. I don't mind that that's making it unhealthy, but I don't care. It's like, I, I don't, it, cause they're getting the broccoli. Right. No, no. Like <laughs> and, and a little cheese is not, not terrible or, you know, like, or a little bit of sodium. It's like, it, it, Allie already says she likes salt. I'm like, oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you even know what salt is? I like, know, I know. We don't have it on the table. Like, uh. Oh, that is too good. I would love for you to tell us a little bit now about your business, um, if you don't mind, because I've always loved it. And I, I like the idea of that when many, many people start with their health journey with food and, or maybe exercise, you know, one or the other. Mm -hmm. But I do agree that as you get going, you start to recognize the other things in your life. Mm -hmm. That's where I kind of land on your business. Like, oh, there's more toxins than just what I'm eating. Um, so I'd love for you to talk a little bit about Boyle's Naturals, if you don't mind. Sure, I'd love to. Um, I love that you said health journey. Yes, I love how you said um, that we're all on a health journey, because really that is health is really all we've got, right? Like once you don't have it, you, you realize what you don't have. So you had started asking about Boyle's Naturals. So my impetus for starting the company is really prevention. Prevention of disease, sickness, injury, and maintaining wellness. Because there's, there's established evidence of in ingredients and products we use causing disease, like causing cancer or causing at a minimum an allergic reaction on your skin. Knowing that and having that education made me just want to start sharing that with others. So I began like putting some presentations together and I had girlfriends over the house and we would talk about our, the products we use in summertime and how can, how can we like switch things out to make them a little bit healthier, like using a sunscreen with titanium dioxide instead of what most of them have, you know, starting with a mineral. But I would just share small tidbits that were already part of my normal, and to some, it's brand new information. So, like uh, a little tidbit like that, like look for that ingredient in the sunscreen. Just and then, then you're buying a better sunscreen. You know. Yeah. So you're one um, step further into yeah. health. Do you find yeah. it a little overwhelming? There are some people who have so many habits that they don't realize maybe could be hurting them but you know you can only give them so much information at once or you know what i'm saying like oh, right. um, yeah when you get the glazed over look yeah. yeah yeah like if you make their whole world go upside down by being like oh everything you're doing could be toxic to your body exactly. but yeah. instead you're like oh here's here's one thing you can do you know? yeah yeah well I, you have to read the audience and then um <laughs> i always make sure to share the fact that i am a real person and like the practical side of being a mom usually wins like right. I'm not um like I have Lysol wipes you know what I mean that like not the most natural thing ever but they work I just make sure to share that I'm a like a practical yeah you want to be wellness. relatable yeah. because you realize exactly. the conveniences of a life of modern life yeah. are not I, we, we all pick our battle like battles it's probably a bad word but we pick our battles to care about in life so the the toxins and products is the one that I'm working on where you're working on, you know, the food, food environment. Yeah. Um, so like we can all learn from each other, you know, and like my girlfriend is an amazing knitter. I'm like, I want to learn how to knit. Please teach me how to knit. Like that's your thing that you yeah. do, you know. So you you kind of do what lights you up and right. share yeah. that with everyone that you care about. And Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yeah. Um, so you, from what I understand, you both educate and you have products that you sell exactly. correctly. Okay. Yeah. So I started on the kind of, and my mission really is the education. Um, but as I was talking about having girlfriends over, we started making a few natural products. And one of them was my, the hand soap, like the foaming hand soap. And they said, you should sell this. You know, it's like that classic story of like, why don't you sell this? And like I just, all your friends are bringing you up and you're like, I should, I'm, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna. <laughs> so, so I launched it and, um, I just would walk into stores and say, Hey, do you want to sell this? Like, and a couple of them said yes, you know, right away. And, um, 
I, w I mean, they're not flying off the shelves and they're, they're kind of laying dormant right now because I'm launching another product that I'm excited about. But yeah, it started with making the products in a workshop and educational style environment. And then, uh, then I realized that in order to make a living, it's the products, you know, and having education come along with the products, selling products with education um, attached to them. That, yeah, that, because, yeah. yeah. Otherwise it's a bench press sell. You're like, mm -hmm. you're like, what's the difference between this and this? And without context, right. You know, understanding of why it's made this way and why it matters is, is huge. Can you tell us a little bit about your new product? Cause I'm actually hoping to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's really exciting. Um, it's called Pit Grit. So it's an underarm scrub that is a washed off product. So you use it um, to gently exfoliate and cleanse your underarm a little better than soap. So it's, it's very gentle, but like it's an exfoliant and you wash it off and then you can use your deodorant after that or not, depending on how, how stinky you are as a person. <laughs> I love that. Um, but it, it has applications like in the middle of the work day, if you're trying to use natural deodorant and it just doesn't work, like that is the kind of number one complaint of users of natural deodorant that, that it's like not as effective as the conventional deodorant antiperspirant. And that's for a good reason. Um, conventional deodorant antiperspirant has aluminum and other parabens and other things that um, artificially clog your pores to stop you from sweating. And that's not healthy. Like sweating is normal. So yep. my product will will clean like clean you, get rid of the bacteria that, that causes body odor and allow like give you a couple extra free extra stink free hours of the day. That's what I say. That's a great tagline. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few extra stink free hours. Cause, yeah. Because at the end of the day, my understanding is that you need to detox yourself so you don't smell. And right. this might, sounds like a great product to to do that. So it's more of that fix the problem. Don't, you know, try to force your body to do something it shouldn't. Exactly. Yeah. And this is a, a, a quick solution. Like the real solution for some is a diet change. I think body odor, like who deal people. Who yeah. Do, yeah. So that's the real, like for people who are educated on that, I'm not as clued in there, but um, this is a product that quickly works. It, like as, as soon as you use it, yeah. BO is gone. As long as your shirt is yeah. stinky. That's yeah. my next, uh, I'm going to tackle the shirt, the fabric. The fabric <gasps> you works. should like a breathable fabric that doesn't make your, yeah, that doesn't like pit stink more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if pick might work on the fabric. I'll have to try. I <laughs> love, I love that we're getting so deep into this armpit stink because let's be honest, we all deal with it. I know it's one, it's like the oldest human problem I think. Like, and you know what? I think I see so many people posting on Facebook, like our moms groups, that are like, "My twelve year old smells. What's going on? They're too young." And I, this would be a great product for teenagers because how embarrassing, amazing. yeah, and so much healthier than putting them on something strong that's going to mess with their their body chemistry and, and their hormones. Yeah. And, yeah, and and I remember as a kid, I ended up buying that stuff. And I really regret it. Like some of that chemical stuff that's like, because I end up sweating somewhere else. You know what I mean? I know, yeah. You're like, why am I sweating in my back now? But um, <laughs> because your body's like, I got to put it somewhere. I know. I know. Um, anyway, I think that's a really great, that's a really great product. And, I, and I'm excited that we were able to share it on here. And hopefully we'll have lots and lots of listeners who will, awesome. who will buy it. And um, I believe it's, is it, what's your website? So boilsnaturals.com and then, um, Boil health on social okay. on social media. So awesome. At awesome. Boil health. Awesome. Well, I hope everybody comes and finds you there and is inspired by that. And um, that will maybe be their next step closer to healthier after this yeah. podcast. Um, is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up? I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Thank you for oh, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with the world as well. Oh, I hope everyone receives it well and understands that we're all on a journey. Yeah. And, um, and that's our goal is to kind of hear from other parents and what they're going through and where their battles are being fought. So yeah. So thank you so much for taking this time. I know how busy your life is. I hope you go order on Peapod because you didn't have time to go to the grocery store. <laughs> I'm going to do my Peapod order right now. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Katie. And I hope to see you this summer. Thank you, Emily.